All right. Here we go. Frederick Osbo and Simon. Simon says, let's see what you got. Frederick Osbo around that first front clip, now transitioning up the hill. Simon Olsen bringing it up, getting gapped here a little bit. Welcome to Formula Drift, Simon. And <laughs> coincidentally going against another Norwegian. Flames being thrown down here as the brand new Rockstar livery on the vehicle. He's loving gold. Simon running the 2J and, and Frederick Osbo running the, actually the OE engine setup that Steph Papadakis has absolutely manipulated. Here we go, Simon Olsen initiating. Frederick Osbo chasing him down around that first front clip. Here goes Simon Olsen now back up the hill. This is why Frederick Osbo, one of the best in the biz, a former champion, a real contender. This is the year he wants to go back, you know, gets another championship. Does he have the formula to take it to the top? Simon Olsen transitions, looks like Frederick Osbo. Look at this, he pulls away from him. Now bringing it past that touch and going around that final front clip. And there is Simon Olsen and Frederick Osbo. Jeff Jones. Oh man, people around the world watching. Jeff Jones, his wife in the building, Osbo. Don't know where Hunter's at, but here we go. Jeff Jones leading. Frederick Osbo giving chase. Jeff Jones initiating into that first front clip. And look at that transition, wow. well done. Look at Osbo just nicking that <laughs> course marker. Jeff Jones swinging for the fences, fills that second outside zone into that second front clip outside of the keyhole. Oh, Jeff Jones shot outside wide, then tries to tighten it up there on that touch and go. And then Jeff Jones across that front clip. And here we go as they leave the start line. Frederick Osbo, Jonathan Aaron. Osbo, nasty flick into that wall. Yeah, wag at that as Osbo now comes down from the bank. And then, oh, Darren, wrong side of the tracks there, my friend. Oh, man, and he did that earlier. And Osbo continues on. That will be an obvious advantage, as that will be an incomplete for Darren. And I'm wondering why Osbo called that competition timeout. Now Darren rises to the occasion, literally. As Osbo, you can see him bathing in the smoke. And Harris brings it around. And Ryan, a great lead run by Naren, but just here in 2021. All right, coming out of the start chicane, here goes Frederick Osbo. Jeff Jones gonna try to gain some ground, but he does not. Here we go, here comes Jones. Osbo, high on the bank. Now coming down into that transition, there's some sparks being thrown. And Jones, really good at that transition, takes out that second inside clip. Looks like Osbo gaining some grip. Wow. But look at Jones. Again, just do not count him out. I, I, into that first outside zone. What's Jones got? Osbo. Right there on the side of that Nissan 370Z. Now coming down to the transition, allowing him to transition in front of him over that jump. Osbo does go tighter on that second inside clip. Shallow on that second outside zone, Ryan, and Jones, oh! He's drinking Ditto Tire, Toyota GR Supra. Frederick Osbo initiates a massive gap between Osbo and Kazuya Taguchi, the up garage, ISR 86. Now coming to the flat mode, oh, Kazuya. That's not where you want to go. I, I, I believe that might have been four, right? I mean, that, that was... That was way off course, so I just quickly, I, I thought there was gonna be contact, so that's a Gucci out front. Frederick Osbo in that chase position. Is he gonna throw it in and go for the gusto? Is he gonna kind of pedal back and save some in the tank to just make sure that he gets the job done? Oh boy, oh, Kazuya Taguchi exit stage left. So that VR power Toyota 86, so uh, Osbo finishes out the course. Just want to make sure, perfect event. Here we go, Justin Paul extended Frederick Osmo in the chase position. Justin Paul in that Falcon Tire Sport Mustang. Wow, quick rate to angle, Ryan. We haven't talked about that that much, and that's what we're looking for from JTP. But it allows Frederick Osmo to really have some confidence there on the transition. Oh, boy, over the jump. Look at Frederick Osmo. That's what we've been looking for all day, all weekend. And there it is from Frederick Osmo. Ryan, you talked about it peaking, but it looked awesome because of the proximity and matching the angle. Here we go. Frederick Osmo's out front. I'm sure JTP is going to want to play as well. He knows one of these drivers, their battle or their weekend is coming to an end here. Who's going against the Nova? Osmo or JTP taking a, a massive swing for the fences is Justin Pollock. 
but Frederick Osmo continues on through the course. The Gold Nose, a great effort there by Justin Pollock, got second overall, one season of championship. Wow, look at the smoke kicking off that front right. Smoke is coming from all over this vehicle as, holy cow, you cannot see half of that vehicle. What is happening? It's, I think I think the engine is going. What is going on? You can't see anything. He literally smoked out Osmo from the onset. No, I think he's got smoke coming from under the hood. No, I know, but <laughs> what the heck? I mean, there is no way Osmo could chase that watch. He starts no. smoking up right there before what he, the way heck? before he initiates. Now, Osmo is trying to navigate through this, but that's literally <laughs> getting like, where do I go? hit by rain. I mean, we're going to get into a real tricky situation here because Osmo, I think, incompletes. And yes, and Pollock finishes the run under drift, but he's going to have to call a competition timeout. And I, he has not called one. He, he does have one. But what's going on with the vehicle? Oh, sweet. Oh, boy. Coolsies. Look at Justin said, all right, hammer down. Well, guess what? Absolutely shellac the course with oil. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. So the oh finals boy. are set. Donova throwing it in into the bank. Hogbo chasing him down. These guys, oil spoil, no big deal. Here we go, down into the power alley. Sparks go flying. Frederick Hogbo transitioning past him. Look at Good job by Chelsea Donova out front. A little bit of a gap separation here from Donova and Hogbo. And the battle of the 24 performance Mustang RTR. Ready to round. He sent it into the big bang. Sparks go flying, and look at Chelsea Donova. <laughs> Jumps to the side of Frederick Osmo. Right there, Sparks once again jumps up to the side. Massive angle from Chelsea to Nova in the chase position. Hunting him down. The Norwegian hammer gets sweated by Denova. Shots fired on the door. Top 32 battle. The North Energy. Top 32 battles. Osbo initiates into the outside zone. Ooh, look at this. And Josh Reynolds gets thrown off. Oh, we got some more rain coming down. And Josh completely thrown off. Osbo, this man's drifting on ice, he's drifting on water, he's drifting on all the conditions, man. So unfortunately, uh, that will not help Josh Reynolds. Osbo continues on through the course, but Reynolds already with major mistakes throughout the entirety of the course run. And a clear run here from Josh Reynolds, or a clear start. The event Hillsburg, Eurofighter, BMW. You can see him just almost there. We go now. It gets out to the outside zone. And Ryan, the umbrellas are back up. We are catching some more water out here. Wide swing around that front clip. Josh Reynolds having a difficult time here in the in the wet. Dylan Hughes. Coming down, both these guys driving phenomenal in the wet, and we talked about that gearing being changed in, uh, in that Toyota Supra of Frederick Osbo, but Dylan Hughes with the drying out conditions, and uh, oh man, are we seeing, no, it looks like uh, just some spritz up in the air, a little spritz as Frederick Osbo comes through. Oh, some a little correction as he straight kind of beelines it towards that front clip. And now coming into that final outside zone, Osbo and Hughes, let's take a look at this again. Just uh, still thinking about how you're wearing your headsets. Ready, <laughs> jump the light, which is allowed. We got a clean start, who's moving on? Oh, our second to last battle, a little hippie shake, a little shimmy shimmy shake there into that first outer zone. Now into the second, oh, look boy. at Osmo lunging up. Dylan Hughes getting all of it, throwing it all the way in. Look at that tap in the cones. Oh man, Osbo applying the pressure. Wow. Yeah, great job by both the drivers so far. Let's see how they handle this. Into that final outer zone goes Dylan Hughes all the way out there, just on the edge of the course. Take social media. Frederick Osbo, that Rockstar Energy Drink, Toyota GR Supra. Dylan Hughes, that Permatex, GT Radial, BMW into that first outside zone. Works it into the second. You can see Frederick 
Going a little deeper than Dylan Hughes, but he still does mimic that angle. Look at the proximity from Dylan Hughes. Here comes Frederick Osbo on that inside clip. Both of them just wrapping around it nice and clean, very tidy. Clinical by both the drivers now into that final outside zone. Proximity, getting it, rubbing it. He's on GT radials. Let's see how he goes, initiating. Really gets all the way out there. Actually just uh, exceeds that track line just a little bit. Now Dylan Hughes, look at that angle from him, but Frederick Osbo jumps right to the side of him. That's exactly what he needed to do. And look at Dylan gripping. Oh, comes out of drift a little bit. Has a small little bobble and a mistake. He could definitely make up for it here in this last outside zone using all of the track and taking out that finish line cone. Frederick Osbo, Travis Reeder. Uh, who's going against Chris Forsberg in the final four? Osbo initiates into the outside zone. Reader trying to hunt him down. Talking about how well these gentlemen are driving. Oh, and Travis Reader takes a lot of angle out of it. Almost makes contact with the gold nose Toyota Supra. Some wavering back and forth. These guys are kind of chopping it up quite a bit. Reader goes, oh, that's a big correction there. So as Osbo and Reader. Unfortunately, Reader in that chase position having a he lot needs of mistake here from Frederick Osbo in order to advance on. He needs to put down a solid lead run. He has done it. That's why he's here at this point, here in the great eight. And Travis Reader, that dangerously late BMW. Close. Yeah, that was a solid initiation here. And now in that second outside zone, Osbo, one of the best in the biz, making it look easy with that super. You see the early exit from Reader, big angle from him. Almost Whoa, both playing with fire this. here, Osbo. Yeah, Osbo really <laughs> dancing with the devil. Coincidentally, the blood red BMW of Reader. You know, but he sir. must he must really trust Reader Jeez, a lot. As they leave the start line. The conditions are drying out just a little bit, so I feel like we will be seeing a little higher speeds here coming to that first outer zone. Wonder if the gearing's gonna work out for Frederick Osbo as Chris Forsberg takes a shallower line here. Frederick goes all the way out to that second outer zone. And now Chris gets that, look at that, uh, that absolute proximity. And now, ooh, shallows up, takes out that front clip. He had to and do it. Yeah, he had to do that. And then goes into that final outer zone. So shallow by second run of this top four battle. Chris Forsberg comes into that first outer zone. Sending it here into the second outer zone. Okay, we're going. Frederick Osbo, oh yeah, we're getting some speed, baby. Here we go. So into that second right here is where he's shooting forward. But they both seem to be handling it here. But like you said, gripping up and both of them wrapping around that front clip. Look at that. Oh, Chris Forsberg grips away in that final outer zone. But Brian, is that enough? Forsberg, yep. Toyota GR Supra, Nitto tires, will lead. Now throws it into that first outside zone. You can see him hammering down as the sun shining off the gold nose and tail of that of Frederick Osbo. Now look at Rome. Rome Charpentier really consistent through the course. Fluid, both these guys. Ryan, I'd love to hear your analysis here on the second run. Because Rome really delivers. So will Naren be able to complete the second half of the Dylan Hughes battle? Now on front, the garageistic federal tire BMW E36 from Rome Charpentier. All right, let's see Rome going in and Frederick Osbo nosing in. Look at that. Great mimicking of angle. Amazing proximity there for Frederick Osbo. Now in that second outside zone. Looks like. Rome dives in, Frederick Osbo tempers that flame really good, and then bam, drops right to the side of Rome Charpentier. Whoa! And Rome, it looks like you saw Rome actually look back. Look like how to move forward. Rule books are developed. They're not set in stone. They, they develop, they enhance. Here we go, Frederick Osbo absolutely shining bright like a diamond here. Frederick Osbo pulling away from Rome Charpentier. So not making an easy task there from Rome as, wow, just as I say that gets to the side of that Toyota Supra. Rome Charpentier now brings him to that third outside zone. And Frederick Osbo puts the Norwegian hammer in his right foot and hammers down across his wing. And I think that's a, I think it's a great, I, you know what, hats off to Rome. Let's see how he fares. Rome Charpentier, you got one battle under your belt, top 16. Don't leave in the judges' hands as Rome. 
Initiates with the clean air, massive angle there. Frederick Osmo, I think, is going to give him a little bit of room here, and then he's going to try to stick it to the door of that BMW E36. Now watch this. This is where Frederick Osmo could really twist the knife on Rome Charpentier, and that another what? He did it again. Oh, come on. What are the odds? Now the GR Supra, Gassi Racing, and then Eve Meyer in his Drift Force BMW. Initiating into that bank, there's Frederick Osmo going for it. Remember, your number two qualifier, Eve Meyer, has a big hill to climb. Going against the Norwegian Hammer in that second outside zone. Eve Meyer, you can see him just pedaling back, keeping the control. But Frederick Osbo, we saw that earlier from today as Osbo against Rome. They had that one more time battle, so, and ruin Osbo's day. Let's see what Eve's got up his sleeve. Eve Meyer initiates, and there's Osbo. No, no backing down from the Norwegian Hammer. Into that second outside zone, going into the crease, getting into the groove. In that second outside zone. Oh my goodness, look at that, the gold nose. Just barely letting Eve Meyer and that BMW go by. And through the smoke, you can see the headlights shining. Look at that. Osbo backing off a little bit there. Didn't look want to into that, somebody. Frederick Osbo and that Rockstar Engineering Toyota GR Supra. Leading the pack here in that first outside zone. We got Golden Chrome. Ripping around the track. Frederick Osbo, Von Gittin Jr. We, did, we saw this with Odie where he leaves himself a lot of room, but he might be able to grip up now. Look at that. Frederick Osbo pulling that front right as does Von Gittin Jr. These guys hitting the three-wheel motions. Looks like Osbo left a little in the tank here as we go down to the final four. Second half of this battle, who's going to the finals? Von Gittin Jr., Frederick Osbo, let's send it! Here we go, Von Gittin Jr. initiates. Osbo very low on the bank, very surprising as Ginn has some in the tank as he goes against the Norwegian Hammer. The professional fun hammer into that second outside zone. Osbo, something is afoot, all did tire. As Vaughn almost oh, oh spinning out, gosh. what is going They might be out of tire, Ryan. Yep. I believe both drivers. Potentially DB'd for, for Osbo. I'm not seeing that, the right side, what see, left side. See. Oh, boy. Did, we saw this before. Yeah. It, it kind of started, I think it, start, it happened on initiation, potentially, but I'm not 100% about that. Uh, I noticed that there was something a little janky going on with Osbo. <laughs> Initiating past that final cone. Nice job by both the drivers. Like to see Taylor Hole a little bit closer here. Taylor Hole dropping down on the bank. Both of them dropping down into the power alley. Shallow line there by Taylor Hole. Frederick fills all of outside zone two and three. Past that front clip, both of them on that first hash mark and into outside zone four. Freddie goes a little bit deeper. Taylor just flirting with the edge of that last zone. Two against Chelsea Denofa. Here is Taylor Hole through the chicane. Let's see how this Intimidator does. Goes in, Frederick Osmo right there in his rearview mirror, right in the side door. Look at this, Taylor Hole, great lead run, but cannot shake the rock star that is the Norwegian Hammer, Frederick Osmo. Good transition, throws it into that third outside zone. Taylor Hole putting it down for his family right now. Into that last outside zone. Woo! Door to door, make some noise for full pull hole and Frederick Osbo. You got used, but here we go. Brandon Scarpelli tuning in. Here we go. Chris Forsberg leading Frederick Osbo, giving chase. Woo! Chris Forsberg initiates. Look at this. Door to door. Oh, did Osbo give a little gold nose tap? Chris Forsberg stays in it. Look at these two champions going toe to toe, mano a mano. Second outside zone, the power alley living up to its name. A swing into that front clip goes Forsberg and Osbo transitioning down to that final outside zone. Forsberg deep, Osbo right there on the door, make some noise, Seattle. All right, all right. As Frederick Osbo will lead Chris Forsberg, Kimmy Chase, big initiation there from Frederick Osbo trying to pull away from him. Forsberg reeling him in. Here we go, right at the wall, both of them at similar height. Again, you want to follow that tire trail. Now coming to that second outside zone, transitioning in the power alley. So Osmo goes deep, Chris comes up a little bit short. Tight on that front clip, makes some noise, Seattle! Rounding that final turn, and that final outside zone four. Wow, wow. 
Chris Forsberg will lead as he's our number two qualifier. Osbo giving chase. Nos Energy Drink versus Rockstar. Forsberg versus Osbo. Throwing it in is Chris Forsberg. Big angle from him. Chris, you can see him dragging on the wall. Osbo just a slight bit lower there of that tire trail. Now coming to the outside zone too, filling all of it. Osbo barely dips that back left. Nice job by Osbo. We got contact. Stays in and Osbo straightens out after that contact. Now in that final outside zone goes Forsberg and across that finish line. This battle, Osbo versus Forsberg. Run two of this championship battle. Meaning they are two champions. We're only in the Royal Purple Top 16. So here we go, Osbo throwing in. Chris Forsberg, you can see, gaining some ground here. Now coming down into the power alley. How are they going to fare? Here's Osbo deep in that second outside zone. Chris Forsberg, you can see him massaging into the third. Not as deep as Osbo around that front cliff. Now bringing it into that final outside zone goes Osbo and Forsberg across the finish line. Ryan, I think the contact. Toyota Racing Supra coming down now into that outside zone. Kyle Mohan hunting him down with that KMR 99 Mazda RX-8. Renewable lubricants, Mazda Tricks RX-8 now past that inside flip into the third outside zone. Separating himself into that final outside zone. Goes Osbo Mohan right there, hanging tough. Equal amount of distance between the two drivers. Right. We'll illuminate, extinguish. The gold Rockstar entering Toyota GR Supra coming out of the cannon. Coming in that first outside zone, throws it in. There goes Frederick Oswald Masayama. He's absolutely on one right now. And oh, and just as I say that, he throws it in, and oh boy, looks like Osbo had to kind of wrap it around him. Masayama, he uh, just threw caution in, and it came back up to baby. So danger for him. Osbo definitely avoided contact Restart there. That won't count against him. That's just one strike. Three strikes and you're out. And Masayama initiates. Frederick Osbo, I thought he was chill, but zero chill. The Norwegian Hammer strikes down. And Masayama into the inside cliff and brings it into that third outside zone. Knocks it over the indicator. But remember, Masayama has that deficit, has that mistake. And man, Osbo, zero chill, man. And that, that, gold is ice. That's going to do it. There's no, no question about it. It's a massive mistake for Masayama in the chase. Now, Link ECU, the official engine management of Formula, Formula Drift. Link ECU, grade eight. Frederick Osbo initiates into that first outside zone. Michael Essa chasing him down. Frederick Osbo looks like big angle from him. He's in the three wheel motion into that front flip. Michael Essa taps it. Ooh, Michael flirting with the dirt. And then he just keeps on going past. At Frederick Osbo fills all that outside zone. Michael Essa right there. Uh, get that hand for a candle. Here we go. Michael Essa, Frederick Osbo, leaving the start line. Essa, Essa will lead. Ooh, Frederick Osbo getting aggressive out of the gate. Is that too much? No, not at all. Good composure here. Passing around that inside flip. Michael Essa, look at Osbo flexing on him. Ryan, he always said he peaks at the right time. And right now, Osbo is doing that. Gives him a little bit of room. Was that too much? I don't think so. Uh, I think this is definitely deserving of a uh, BC Racing side by side. Osbo initiates in that outside zone. Look at Asa! Whoa, Doctor! And unfortunately, he bit off more than he could chew. His eyes were bigger than his stomach, and a little bit of a yard sale there in that first outside zone, Ryan. And Osbo does have to continue through the course, and that will be a solid run there for Osbo with an advantage. Osbo, excuse me, Michael Essa was trying to grease it sick. there. That was pushing as close as he could oh to the boy. upper limits of what's possible. And he nearly pulled it off. But you can see the right rear is, I, I believe the right rear might be debated. And so this might be the end of Michael Essa here. So again, the winner of this goes in the final four. Essa out front again with that disadvantage. Now Frederick Osbo tucks in into that second outside zone and around that front clip go both the drivers. Don't DB there, fellas. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but uh, into that final outside zone and the GT radios and the NATO tires stay. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Plow. Yeah, at least the lights are still on. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Frederick Osbo initiates. The lights are on in a major way. The Type S lights, that is, as Frederick Osbo initiates. Oh, and Vaughn Gain Jr., he rotates. He overcooks it. And Frederick Osbo continues on through the course. He does need to continue as long as he finishes out this run. 
I so, did not expect that. No, he burned. Yes. Yeah. They fell victim to Chelsea Denofa. Their vehicle's unable to. Run. Both of them, yeah. yeah. So, so now, now they're coming back the following round, and one of them is going to get the victory. All right, so Papadakis racing, as you said, just re repeating what Ryan's saying. Uh, backtrack two rounds ago, Erie, Pennsylvania, Frederick Osbo, ready to go to the finals. Nope, car unable to be fixed. Backtrack in Seattle, the most sure. recent in that chase position. Coming down to that first inside clip. Oh, buddy! It's going to be the first outside zone. Now to that second outside zone. Now into the one, the only Peninsula inside clip. In that third outside zone, Ryan Turk in tow. The gold Zubra bring it around. Oh, man, Ryan Turk hits the wall. Ryan Turk taps the wall, gets out of shape. And I'm trying to recall was I don't believe a competition timeout has Mistake been Mistake from Osbo. It was a great run up until that point. Let's finish it. Here we go. Send it. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. Ryan Turk initiates in that first outside zone. Now approaching the second outside zone. And now into the one and only front flip. Both of them hitting that three-wheel motion. Now into that third outside zone. A transition where Ryan Turk hit the side. As long as Frederick Osbo keeps it clean, he should get the win. Ryan Turk and Frederick. Yes, we do. The gold nose. Rockstar, Toyota Racing, Toyota Supra. Now come on in, there goes Frederick Osmo. Massive angle there, just barely kissing that touch and go. Filling all that first outside zone, getting the zone one. Now two, Trent Beecham now gets the side of him. And now around that final front flip. A great effort there by Beecham. But just, you saw how he threw down, but he's got this champ in his rear view mirror. Beecham. Let's see if he can get out of that touch and go. Ooh, big correction there. You can see he grips up, comes up very shallow. Lack of there for Beecham. But Frederick Osmo does a great job adapting to Trent Beecham, making those mistakes. But Osmo showing you the composure of the champion. Wise no cones were hit. We got a clean start. Frederick Osmo, the Rockstar Energy Drink. Toyota GR Supra. Now coming into the view. Yes. Out to that touch and go. Quick little like quiver there for Frederick Osmo. Look at Jeff Jones, right there. Jeff Jones coming on down into that final inside clip, knocking it over, but look at that. Ryan 70Z leading the Rockstar Energy Drink, Toyota GR Supra. Coming out into that touch and go. Jeff Jones goes all the way out there. Transitions back, look at Jeff Jones. Can he be the giant killer? Taking on Osmo, Osmo, big pressure here. Now pass that touch and go. Here comes Jones and brings it right around Ryan. I'll tell you what, Jeff Jones put out one heck of a run out front. As uh, Osbo leads the Rockstar Toyota Supra. Look at this coming in. The Amasiyama handles the Norwegian hammer. Transition. Oh, look at Osbo shredding, just peeling back that wing like a banana. Banana split as he opens up, peels a banana, splits away from Masayama. Well done by Frederick Osbo. Seems just like open up that can of worms right there. Hey, dog, you want a little, little rock star? Yeah, get some. Clean start, man. He was flirting with those cones, but this would have been a strike. Here we go. Nice, nasty flick by Masayama. But Osbo, oh, very shallow off that touch and go. Masayama letting it hang out. Osbo taking a shallower line, but modifying, I believe, to Masayama's shallow line as well. Whoa. All right, pulling off the line. We got a clean start. Let's see what Frederick Osmo's got going on, what he's got cooking. We saw these guys go one more time, multiple one more times before, and here we are again. Because these guys have seen so many battles over the years. And there, Osmo puts the car in the right place. Von Kitten Jr., we got chrome and gold. Oh, precious metals. That's what we get. Von Kitten Jr. leading. The lead car has the right of way. Fires across the nose of that Toyota Supra at Vaughn. Yo! Banging bumpers, transitioning. Looks like it throws him off a little bit. But Frederick Osmo keeps pace, transitions in and around that final clip. Ryan, your thoughts, knee jerk reaction. Osmo's lead was pretty good. 
Money fans out. Where are my Formula Drift fans out? Let's set it. French Osborne is here. Coming into view now. Outside touch and go. Dragging bumper. Odie Boxy's chasing him down. In that first outside zone. French Osborne and Odie Boxy. Now in that second outside zone. Approaching the touch and go. And now that inside clip. A solid execution by both the drivers. There we go. Odie Boxy's out of the shoe. We got a clean start. Now initiating. Into the touch and go. Cody Bakshi brings it into the wall. Frederick Osmo transitions. Now into that second outside zone. Frederick Osmo right there. And now bringing around that final clip. Looks like we got a clean start. John Hurst in the cash racing. G37. Frederick Osmo initiates in the bank really high. Look at Hurst. Gains some ground. He wobbles his way to the side of oh, Frederick Osmo. Now coming down into that first front flip. Oh, here it comes Hurst. We got contact, but it continues on the Norwegian Hammer. Look at that, continues on through the course. The rock star front and center as Hurst. So the brand new stroke. No cones in. Here we go, run two of this battle. First battle of the Royal Purple, top 16. Jonathan Hurst initiates. Not as high as Osmo, looks like Osmo gets in formation. Now Hurst past that inside flip. In that second outside zone, there goes Hurst. Osmo, not as deep as Hurst, but I think he is just, he knows to kind of just keep a composure here. And now into that final outside zone. Well done. I mean, one of the best chase drivers in the game. So Ryan, I believe, Great gate. Frederick Osmo initiates. Ryan Turk just does the same. And look at that, Frederick Osmo not even affected by Ryan Turk in his presence. Now transitions past that first inside clip. Coming into that second outside zone. Frederick Osmo brings it on in. Ryan Turk does the same, look at that. Digging himself into that middle tire smoke. Ryan Turk surges past that second inside clip. Approaching, pulling some tire up. Three wheel motion by Frederick Osmo. Norwegian hammer, Ryan Turk makes some noise, Irwindale. Well, it's been a continuous theme with the Supra, and here he is behind the wheel of a new Supra, and uh, he has flying that Toyota flag for many years. Here we go, Ryan Turk out front. Ryan Turk throws it high, and look at that, Rich Osmo, not as high, but he massages it a little bit up, as now coming to that first inside clip. Transition is Ryan Turk, back to inside clip, into that second outside zone, mimicking each other. Ryan Turk with a little bit more angle than Frederick Osmo, a little bit lower line there from Freddy as he takes out that second inside clip into that last outside zone. And Frederick Osmo right there to the side of Ryan Turk. And it went to one more time. So here we are. It is do or die. And Frederick Osmo gets the win against the two-time champion Vaughn Kent Jr. He'll be your 2021 Formula Drip champion. Here we go, Frederick Osmo high on the bank in that inside, outside zone into the first inside clip. Now in the second outside zone goes Osmo and Kitt. Vaughn Kitt Jr. doing a great job of mimicking the angle and digging deep in that second outside zone. Now that final outside zone goes Osmo, both them pulling up that front right wheel. Vaughn Kitt Jr. loses the bit of proximity and falls back. Send but still, Vaughn Kitt Jr., Frederick Osmo. Monster vs. Rockstar, Ford vs. Toyota, Von Gate Jr., his last Formula Drift competition as Vaughn leads in that first outside zone, transitioning past the first front clip, now in the second. Vaughn leads in Osmo, Osmo right there. Is there enough to have a deciding factor here, Ryan? Into that final outside zone. Look at that, Von Gate Jr. shooting flames. And smoke through that cable. Go. Frederick Osmo, Odie Bakshi. The finals here at Irwindale Speedway. Osmo, leaving it all out of the track. This is it. His brand new stroke engine leading the pack to Rockstar Energy Drink. Toyota GR Supra coming that second outside zone. Odie Bakshi trying to fight back. Puts it right to the side of the Toyota Supra. Opening a can of worms. Literally, the can of worms being a Toyota Supra. Oh! And the first mistake, really, we've seen from Frederick Osbo there. Again, comes in leading the pack. Number one qualifier, champion. He will Can't take the lead in what could be the last head-to-head -head battle of the year.
Let's stop your feet here, Irwin Dale. Make some noise for Odie Bakshis. Frederick Osbo, let's send it! Bakshis and Osbo. Odie Bakshis initiates. You can see Frederick Osbo taking a bit of a lower line. Odie doesn't get as high as well, allowing Osbo to gain that proximity. Now to that second outside zone. Look at Osbo on the attack. Knocking off some body parts. Headed on into that second inside clip. Osbo grinding in that Nitto tire. Into the door of the Falcon tire, S15. Bringing it all the way through. You know, just at face value here, intuitionally, this may come down to Odie's lead. Because I.